Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I don't know, I'm just trying it on a different filter today. It's kind of fun. They keep changing things on Facebook Live. I've been doing Facebook Lives for a long time, and they keep changing it, and it, I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm just trying to go with the flow here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, tonight I wanted to talk about nutrient deficiency. This is something I've come across more and more and more and more as I do Dutch tests. So if you're wondering about Dutch tests, love, uh, <laughs> love the retro. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Yeah, if you're wondering about what this is, what it, uh, what it looks at, I will explain it. I'm going to put a link right here in the comments where you can check it out. Um, this is a really intensive test. It's a dried urine test for comprehensive hormones that checks your estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, cortisols, everything else. And then we go over this test together. I explain what it all means, where your levels are at, and uh, what things you specifically need to focus on to help get you from where you're at to where you want to go and why you've been struggling. And this is something that I have seen now more than ever. I do a lot of Dutch tests. I do 10, 15 a week, and I've been doing this for a long time. And and the crazy thing to me is that I have seen more nutrient deficiency recently than I ever have before on a consistent basis. We live in a nutrient bankrupt, calorie dense world. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the things that actually make this worse for our system is stress. And everybody has been under so much more stress this year than ever before. Everybody's having a different reaction to it than ever before. So it's really important. Again, one thing when we're get, when we're looking at the Dutch test, I can see what your cortisol levels are doing. This is a cord these are cortisol graphs, right? What are they doing? What are they doing throughout the day? Where are you struggling? We can target that specifically with the cortisol. But one of the really important things to realize is that if you are not getting enough nutrient for what your body needs, it's so hard. It is um, dang near impossible to get the right kind of results because your system isn't getting what it needs. It, it doesn't have enough to function. You are nutrient deficient. So what does that mean? Your body doesn't have the right number of vitamins and everything else. And guess what? Dutch tests for that. We go over this. We go over what your B vitamin levels are. We go over what your glutathione levels are. We go over that information because it's so important. Because if your system doesn't have enough, right? Nutrient deficiency. This is not enough vitamin level for what your system needs. If your body has cortisol levels that are off, which Oh my gosh, like everybody does right now with all the stress of the world, oh, ah, right? I'm not gonna have mine go out of whack because I'm talking about it. I'm just gonna calm down for a minute. Oh, okay. But since everybody has all these, all this stress, our system, you basically burn through vitamins faster. So doing the regular stuff that you used to do, that you were doing before 2020, where you're like, oh, I'm feeling so great. Oh, I'm taking my vitamins, I'm eating healthy, yay, go me, woo. And now you've been under so much stress for so long, your body has just, it goes, it like, it's like gas in the tank. You're getting terrible mileage on it. You're burning through it too fast. Your body uses it up so fast that all of a sudden, you know, day after day, after week, after week, after month, after month of going through these vitamins too fast, your body now doesn't have enough for what it needs. It needs more to do the same job. It needs more to function really, really well. And it's not getting it. That leads to nutrient defici deficiency. Now, when we go over these levels, I always point this out because we want to make sure those levels are right for you. Because if you've been trying to eat well and exercise and do all these things and you're not getting any results, it's not your fault if you're nutrient deficient. Your body literally can't do it. You can't drive a car on no gas. You can't work on your phone. You can't text if, you're, if your phone doesn't have any battery in it, any battery charge. That's what being nutrient deficient does to your system. You don't have the juice <laughs> to do it, to function. So this is where we, we need to start and focus on, right? And it's something else to realize that it's important to be tested for. It's important to realize where your body is at, right? Because if you have the right levels, great, your body can function well. But if you don't have the right levels, stop trying to work out for hours and hours a day. You're not gonna get anywhere. Stop trying to do, count your calories. It's not gonna make a difference because your body doesn't have the right nutrient levels to function the way that it should. So it becomes way tougher to have energy, way tougher to have it. Like you can get super exhausted, right? It, it, people are tired enough already with all the stress that they're under, but all of a sudden your energy will just tank bad. 
Um, your body doesn't have enough nutrients to properly detox. Part of having the right nutrient levels in your system is to have your body do the correct detoxification that it should. But again, with that extra stress, everything else, your liver gets overloaded, it can't properly detox. Now you add on you know, nutrient deficiency. Again, you can't drive a car without enough gas in it. Can't even, can't have the energy, can't detox, all that stuff, can't build muscle. Like your system will not focus on building muscle and then getting to fat burning, you know, all these other things. So you're not gonna build the muscle. So going to the gym, trying to work out like crazy, not gonna get you any results, right? That's a big, big thing to realize. It's not, you know, that you're doing something wrong, it's you're focused in the wrong direction and a direction that's not leading to any results for you. And another thing here overall is that again, if you're nutrient deficient, it's just gonna be slowing down your metabolism more, slowing down your digestive system, slowing everything down, slow it down. Why does it slow it down? Because any amount of food or nutrient that you put in your mouth, your body's gonna say, oh, we gotta hold on to this. We gotta grab onto it and just snuggle it to death and hold it as much as we can because we are burning through some of these vitamins way too fast. Mm -hmm. Yes, very, very important um, that you realize where your system is at and are you actually getting the right nutrients for what your body needs. So these are things that we go over when we go over the Dutch test. Again, link there is in the comments. If you wanna learn more about it, it gets sent right to your house, it goes right to the lab, then we go over it. Tons of info, tons of info in this Dutch test. Um, and it can explain why you've been struggling. It can explain why you've been spinning your wheels right? And stop spinning your wheels. Stop wasting energy and time in, in areas that aren't serving you. And that can go for a lot of different things. But yes, other resources I have for you besides that, um, my books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution, these are on Amazon. Great resources for you um, to learn more about nutrition and hormones and the female cycle, all that wonderful stuff. I have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on all my videos coming out. And my podcast is called The Female Health Solution. I've got some amazing episodes that dropped today and more that are dropping soon. I've got some amazing interview that, that I've done that I can't wait for you guys to hear. So that's what I got for you tonight. Please let me know if you have any other questions or you need other help. Otherwise, I will see you later.